beautiful building right there is the National Library building. Building in 1925. This is the famous Medina Library. It's the oldest and most beautiful section of the library. And it houses one of the most valuable collections of colonial era literary works and chronicles in Latin America. In fact, it is estimated that 60% of all the works found here date from that era. And there's the only building you see behind is the Iglesia San Augustin, home to one of Jewish most famous religious legends. The city's second oldest church, the original church, was built in 1625, but the current church dates from 1707, as previous versions of it have been destroyed by earthquakes. In fact, it was during an earthquake in 1647 that a priest discovered a statue of Christ in which his crown of thorns had slipped off his head around his neck, an impossible feat being that the statue's crown was smaller than the head. According to legend, when someone tried to move it back to its original position, Christ's face began to bleed and an aftershock occurred. The event was dubbed a miracle and is still honored with a ceremony on May 13th. This beautiful building you see behind me is the city's famous Palacio de la Moneda. It was completed in 1799. It originally served as the country's coin mint and later it served as both the government headquarters and the residence of the Chilean president and today it serves as the office of the Chilean president. Every other day at exactly 10 a.m. sharp, traffic around the palace is stopped as the local Carabineros, also known as the only police force in Latin America that isn't corrupt, perform the traditional changing of the guard. This is Santiago's Paseo Nueva York. It's the city's financial district and we have these interesting cool looking buildings that date from the early 20th century. Chile is known for having the largest earthquakes in the world. The largest earthquake on record happened in Chile. 1960 and the most recent massive earthquake happened in 2010 and also devastated most of Santiago. But this building behind me has managed to stand firm and in fact this is one of only two surviving buildings in Santiago that date from the original colonial period. And this one is the famous Church of St. Francis and the current church was built in 16. 18. The only part of the church that has been replaced 
is this bell tower you see but the rest of the building is all original from the colonial period so this makes this the oldest surviving building in all of Chile. This is Santiago's famous Barrio Paris Londres. It was constructed between the 1920s and 30s on what were once the gardens of the St. Francis Convent. Now this neighborhood is modeled after Paris's Latin Quarter and contains just two streets. So now this district actually translates to Paris and London. This impressive structure you see behind me is the Basilica de los Sacramentinos. It was completed in 1931 and is modeled after a famous Sacred Heart Church in Paris, France. Now unfortunately you actually can't go inside the church right now because it's still being restored from earthquake damage from the 2010 earthquake. This beautiful building you see behind me is the Palazzo Cusino and it was completed in 1878. This beautiful palace was originally the home of the Cusino family who made a fortune in mining and shine. In 1940, the palace became the property of the Chilean government who used it as a guest house for visiting dignitaries. But all that changed in 1968 when the top floor was burned to the ground in a fire and in 1977, the city opened it to the public as a museum. The house was originally built for Louis Cousineau, who was half French, half Spanish, but unfortunately he died of tuberculosis a few years before its completion, so he never actually had the chance to live here. But his wife, Isabella, did. This is Avenida 18 and it has these beautiful 1800s and 1900s mansions. This beautiful building is the Church of San Ignacio. It was built in 1872. Now I know where there were so many police officers and riot. This beautiful facade marks the entrance to Cerro Santa Lucia. It's a 2,000 foot high hill that overlooks the entire city. The name was actually given by Pedro de Valdivia on December 13, 1541, which was the day he conquered it, which happened to be the feast day of Santa Lucia.
In 1816, during the Chilean War for Independence, the Spanish constructed Castillo Hidalgo, a large fortification which surrounded the entire hill, and today sections of the original fortification can still be seen. Poor Pedro, you conquered Chile and now you've got pigeons shitting all over you. Behind me you can see the mausoleum of Benjamin McKenna. He was nicknamed Vicuña and he was a local politician and historian who in 1872 began a massive revitalization project of the entire city. And we have these cool indoor corridors where you can find stores, vendors, and eateries. San Tiago is full of these little barrios, and this colorful neighborhood we see right here is called Barrio Lastaria. Founded in the 1880s, this bohemian neighborhood was named after local writer and politician Jose Victorino Lastaria. The neighborhood underwent an urban renewal project in the 80s and 90s, transforming it into the elegant arts and fine dining district we see today. Every Thursday and Saturday, the barrio holds a small flea market selling everything from used books to local art. Behind me is the church of Veracruz. It was built in the 1850s as a memorial to the great Spanish conqueror Pedro de Medina. famous for having some of the best restaurants and cafes in the entire city. Gracias. Where is traditional Chilean food from Patagonia? We order a deer and some zucchini towers. Mm. And actually really good. Church is the Church of San Francisco de Borja. We have this beautiful park right here. I can't believe there are actually flowers blooming in the middle of winter. Barrios. This one is called Barrio Bella Vista, literally translates to beautiful view and this is known as Santiago's Bohemian Quarter and is home to many of the city's esteemed artists and intellectuals. This barrio is really famous for its colorful buildings and street art. This barrio is also famous for these patios where you can find the neighborhood's best bars and restaurants. <laughs> barrio Bea Vista's most famous attraction is La Chascona. 
billed in 1953 by Nobel Prize winning Chilean poet Pablo Neruda for his mistress Matilda, this colorful estate was one of three homes in Chile owned by the poet. The name La Chascona translates to messy hair, a reference to Matilda's unruly curls. As Neruda was a member of the Communist Party and friend to Salvador Allende, much of the home's original treasures were lost when it was ransacked by Augusto Pinochet's forces during the military coup of 1973. After the poet's death, his wife Matilda took on the task of restoring the house, which is today open to the public. This is the only offering funicular in all of Santiago. It was built in 1925 and it takes tourists down from the Barrio Bella Vista up to Cerro San Cristobal. Señores, yo soy muy flaco, pero de corazón tierno, y tengo una novia gorda para pasar el invierno. De espalda parece un horno, y John Boo tiene la forma, calienta cuando hace frío y en verano me da sombra. Que la timache compadre, la chacarera se acaba, y no empalada si vino se viene la madrugada. Please, 